Good morning, it's great to see you today. It's Thursday, the 28th of April, and um, here today looking at today's devotion in the book of 2 Peter, which we just started just the other day, beginning of this week. We're on uh, chapter 1, and today we're on verse 4. And I'm just going to just take verse 3 as well, just because verse 4 it kind of has to take its lead in from verse 3. So I'm just going to take that, uh, read that, and then tell you when we get to verse 4, and we'll have a, excuse me, a couple of thoughts about verse 4 there. Verse 3 says this, By his divine power, God has given us everything we need to live a godly life. So true that is. We have received all of this by coming to know him, the one who called us unto himself by means of his marvellous glory and excellence. Verse 4, And because of his glory and excellence, he has given us great and precious promises. These promises that enable you to share his divine nature and escape the world's corruption caused by human desires. And because of what these, his glory, the word they doxa, and excellence, so excellence, which is, it does translate as excellence, but also it's purity, uh, all that, all that, that kind of entails, in, 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 entails, I can't speak today. Because of that, he has given us these great and precious promises. Well, we know in the Bible, it tells us that God is faithful and true. God answers his promises. All God's promises are yes. And I mean, if God has said it, if he has, God has promised it, guess what? He's going to do it. And he has given us these absolutely wonderful promises because he says, you have been born again. You are a new creation. The old is gone. The new has come. All things are possible for those who believe that's a promise of God. I have come to, to bless you. I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. That is a promise of God, to have that more abundantly. And these promises that enable, these promises, the promises of God, so amazing. That doesn't mean to say that we're going to have it easy. It doesn't mean to say we're going to be on an easy street. Everything's going to be all hunky-dory and wonderful because life is isn't like that and also you know we learn we grow more if everything's always absolutely wonderful and amazing um sometimes if there's that reliance there's that we can go to that reliance on ourselves, our own abilities our own strengths you know because of uh, it's done me but good in the past well it's going to do me good today no we need we need to recognize that we need god's strength god's filling that's why I'm always praying every morning. I try and pray in tongues and I, and I ask that God will fill me with his spirit again to help me today. Because the natural tendency is, is that if I just go along in my, I can just go along in my own strength. And then I wonder why, why is things, why, is, why, is, why am I struggling with this? Or why is this? Or why is that? And it suddenly clicks. I think, ah, okay. I need to ask God to help me here. To allow, just to just allow God's uh, strength to move and flow through me just to hear what he is saying that's what jesus said i only say the things i hear the father saying i only do the things i see the father doing and for us we just kind of rush 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 so much into headlong into things without really even you know stopping and thinking and it doesn't need to be like a like a oh i'm not going to move here for the next 10 minutes until god shows me i think you know god just god's very very super supernaturally natural just shows us really in an easy way but because of having Jesus had such a relationship with his father that he could just just in conversation just okay what's that okay yeah 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 and just did it and we too can do that okay so because of his great and amazing promises God's promises are yes and amazing brilliant promises over you and we can share in his divine nature wow that is amazing well what is God God is love so we can share in that that God's love God. It's eternal. God's, you know, he, he, he is, he is and was and is. And so we are eternal as well, which is amazing. Um, God is all powerful, all knowing and can be everywhere at the same time. Well, we can't be everywhere at the same time because we are constrained in the human flesh. But Paul to this, he said, I know a man who was caught up in the spirit. So you can, you know, so you can go places in the spirit because remember God is spirit and we are spirit. Yes, we are confined by these bodies, but we are spirit. God is all powerful. Jesus said this. He said, "Greater things than these will you do." Nobody did. Nobody on earth has done the things that Jesus did. He opened blind eyes for someone born 
um, blind from birth. He raised at least two or three people from the dead in an amazing way. These things, he said, greater things than these will you do. Um, and uh, you know, God, these are all possible for us because all things are possible for those who believe. And all knowing, because because God gives us words of knowledge. So he gives us, you know, he can help us, gives us words of discernment to go so that we're in a situation. God will show us what's really going on, what's the motivation behind it, discernment, you know, so that's discerning of spirits, discerning what's really happening somewhere. Words of knowledge, which will actually give us keys, if you like, to open up certain situations, to be, uh, as, as God, we can participate in God's, divine nature and the word therefore participate it, it's kind of a form of koyona which is fellowship having fellowship because of being spending time in god's presence and fellowshiping and experiencing that so having that because we're a part of him we're part of his family and experience that having that fellowship in uh, that divine nature and that's what we can do as christians so we can because we can participate in God's power because his authority has been given to us. He said, you know, he said, Jesus said this, he said, all authority has been given to me and I give this to you. So that means we can do it. We can, we can heal the sick. We can raise the dead. We can cast out demons. We can have words of knowledge. And I think we can go places in the spirit. I've heard of other people doing all these amazing things of not being confined just to their bodies. And we can escape the world's corruption caused by human desires that is so important that we are god says be holy why because i am holy and as we have a choice to make in that um, but when you when you are close to god when you spend time in his presence those choices are easier to make because there's less enticement of, of sin but if when we're falling away then those things become a bit more upon our agenda so let's make sure we stay close to god and be holy because he is holy. Listen, I hope you have a great day today. Take care. God bless. I'll see you again tomorrow in Jesus' name. Amen.